Inner Vision, Episode 7, April K. Hi, I'm April K, and these are my top captions with Inner Vision. So I got to Wall Street from a pretty non-traditional path. The other folks that started in finance with me were kind of of the Brett Kavanaugh type who had always seen themselves as being there. But I got there because I'd wanted to go on a school trip to New York and that trip happened to be a financial services trip. I hit it off with one of the top guys at one of the top firms, such a down to earth dude, hadn't gone to college, like very grassroots kind of mentality, but made it on Wall Street. And so he encouraged me to intern there. He encouraged me to take the job they offered me after the internship. So straight out of college, moved to New York, they paid for it. I was here, I was doing my Wall Street thing. And then three months in, I realized it was not for me. And that was because a key part of my identity is being a creative. And simply put, with that schedule, there was no time to create, let alone do self-care, which as we all know is crucial to creativity. So I left so that I could be myself, which is to say, be a creative person. I have carried depression with me for pretty much my entire life since before I can remember. It's been integral to who I am. It's been a kind of a partner with me and it certainly doesn't have a positive impact on my existence, but it really frames it in a specific way. I did not think that I would live past age 27 and now I am alive. I am older than the age of 27. And the reason I am still alive is because I wanna make a positive difference. I have learned that my existence and the space that I take up, not only does it matter, it has a positive impact and that's what keeps me going. And so what has encouraged me to past this belief that I wouldn't live a long beneficial life is the of doing good things in the world, both as an activist and a creative, as a mentor and a musician. That is what makes me me, and that is what keeps me going. For me, in any given moment, I am myself. One of the things that I loathe about diet culture is this idea that fat me isn't myself. Skinny me is myself and the denial of those past versions of ourselves. And so for me, when I have my body hair, I am myself, just as when I shave my body hair. And I think that's where a lot of people get tripped up is, oh, you have your body hair, you're authentic, or oh, you have your natural hair, you're authentic. But to me, I am authentic every step of the way. And for me, appreciating that authenticity is wearing that authenticity in different skins. Can I be myself with straight hair and a full face of makeup just as I am myself with body hair looking like a more kind of natural, just woke up like this kind of energy, right? So to be able to bring my body hair as it naturally is online and to invite the world into that part of myself that most of us have, most of us grow armpit hair, is to say that I am myself now just as I am myself in any other form. The way I started playing bass was somewhat against all odds. When I went in to choose my instrument, which is what everyone does in Austin around age 12, sixth grade, the person who was assigning the instruments didn't want me to play bass. She said my hands were too small, which looking back now, I realize was coded sexism and potentially a little racism too. So when I started an orchestra the next year and didn't listen to her and picked what I wanted to, it was me and three six foot plus stocky white guys. So take that for what you will. But since then, bass playing has been this act of owning and taking up space. There's pretty much in most non-orchestral settings just one bass player. There might be, a, you know, a, there might be like five saxophone players, a couple. There's always one bass player, and that role is key. And so. When I released the Cardi B video, that was because I wanted to show the internet that I did music. I was getting ready to release my band Imani Gold's EP. We have our first single out now. I was getting ready to release that single. And I realized that if it's not on Instagram, people don't know it exists. So I went to look at the charts. I went to look at the top song because I wanted to do something that was relevant. And I practiced for a month. It took me a month 
to make that 30 second video because I didn't know what I was doing. I'm not a film person, I'm not a lighting person, I don't even really do wardrobe a lot of the time. And after all that work, I made the video and it popped off and it was so affirming that the world, literally millions of people, were interested in this part of me that I had fought so hard and so long to own and to be respected for. These were my top captions with Inner Vision. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at aprilk.nyc and on Twitter at aprilk underscore nyc. Hope to see you there. Hope to see you there.